What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I want to talk about money as always, but I want to talk about specifically money in relation to housing. I'm talking about rental apartments and I'm talking about purchasing homes or houses and just how so many people are just not realistic. Okay, a couple things and full disclosure and like an early pre-warning, these are not going to be the most popular opinions that I have. So first, let's talk about the rental game, okay? I see all these people posting, you know, $3,000 rent, $4,000 rent, $2,800 rent. And true, that stuff does exist and people complain because maybe they can afford $1,200 or $1,300. And you know what? Those apartments do exist. You're acting like they don't exist, but they do exist. You know what that apartment is probably not going to have? It's probably not going to have high-end kitchen appliances. It's probably going to have white appliances. They're going to be basic. It's not a side-by-side -side refrigerator, a top-bottom refrigerator freezer that's white and not stainless. It's probably not going to have an updated stove. It probably won't come with a dishwasher. It probably won't even come with a microwave. And you know what? Boo-hoo. You can go to Walmart or whatever stores in your town and buy a microwave for well under $100. That'll still heat up your food like any other microwave. That same apartment probably won't have central air conditioning. And in some parts of the country, it won't matter that much because air conditioning is seasonal. Midwest, Northeast, air conditioning is pretty seasonal. Even the Northwest, it's seasonal. Air conditioning is a higher sought after amenity in the South and the Southeast and the Southwest. And you know what? Even when I visited cities, in the South and the Southwest and Southeast. I still saw plenty of homes that didn't have central air conditioning. They had a window unit or a couple of wall units. And you know what? They live. So the people that are saying there's no affordable apartments, there are. It might not be on the coast. It might not be on the beach. It might not be in the hot spot, you know, the, the, the happening part of town, but those apartments are out there. And if that's all you can afford, then that's what you need to go rent so you can actually be living below your means and then one day you'll be able to upgrade to something better as opposed to robbing peter to pay paul to try to afford what you really can afford and probably eventually get evicted same deal with houses and again probably an unpopular opinion coming every house don't listen to this average uh price of real estate today it's not four hundred thousand dollars it's just not it might be $400,000 if you factor in all of the really expensive communities and then all the, the middle tier communities and all the inexpensive communities. But the average house where you live may very well not be $400,000. And if it is, maybe you need to move to where houses don't cost $400,000 because there's lots of houses that you can get that are pretty nice for probably, you know, $200,000. This is what you're probably not going to have. Again, you probably won't have high-end flooring. It might have carpet. It might not have a custom chef kitchen. Most of y'all order and take out anyway. So why do it even matter? You probably won't have a finished basement if you live somewhere where they have basements. They probably won't have a brick garage. And you know what? That'll give you some nice DIY projects to do around the house to make the house better, improve the value, and actually have some equity. But if that's what you can afford, then you got to roll with what you can afford. All of this belly aching and yelling into the echo chamber that is the internet about how unaffordable things are, it's coming from people that probably really aren't that bothered. Because you're either going to whine or you're going to do. If you're going to whine about it, it's not bothering you that bad. If that's all you're going to do is whine and not do anything, it's really not bothering you because you just want something to complain about. Now, if you're going to get up and actually do something about it, you might not get the positive result that you seek today, tomorrow, next week, next month. But if you keep working at it, you're probably going to see some results because you're going to see fruits of your labor from the work you're putting in. If you're looking for affordable housing, if you live somewhere where maybe you have to go a little bit outside of the city, maybe you live in an expensive city and you got to go a little ways outside of the city to find something more affordable for you, that actually fits your current 
financial situation, if that's what you got to do, then that's what you got to do. Whining about it's not going to help you. It's not going to make the houses cheaper in these places that you're trying to live. It's not going to make the apartments cheaper in these places that you're trying to live that you just can't afford. You want to just own up to it, suck it up, and realize that this is life for me right now. Let me make the best of this, and let me work on getting better. And then eventually I'll be better, and I'll be able to do better. That's my thought on it. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. But this class is dismissed for now, and thank you for watching.